Have you ever wanted to play Spider-Man but can't afford to buy a console or a decent PC? If that's the case, here's how you can make one that can even run on a toaster. And so, how are we actually gonna make our own Spider-Man game? Well, first, we'll need what every great Spider-Man game has, and that is... Beans. Now we'll just need to make a script and scan this QR code. And we should be able to paste the code right here to make our Spider-Man move. I know, he already looks absolutely beautiful in it. Yes. But we can certainly make him just a little bit better. Let's do his silhouette first. Then, after making him kind of look like Spider-Man, <coughs> we're now gonna eat some sandwich. And when we get back, we've got our Spider-Man. Moving on to the animations, arguably the easiest part. First, you just gotta... Now we can just apply the animations within the game, and there we have it. We've officially made our own Spider-Man game. <laughs> are we forgetting something? Mm. Well, yes indeed, we are. When you hear the word Spider-Man, what comes first in your mind? Great power? Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Responsibilities? No. Red? No. Blue? No. Bagels? No, no, no. While other opinions may certainly, indeed, of course, absolutely valid, they're all wrong. What we need is web swinging. We can use this object and put some programming magic to it. And now we have what I like to call the thing we need for Spider-Man to web swing from. Or in short, the twin of us amat wasa. Now that we have the, the twin of us amat wasa, we can draw a web string from Spider-Man to the, the twin of us amat wasa to make it look like he's shooting a web to it. Let's just add some physics and he should be able to swing from it just like what a the twin of us amat wasa is actually made for. And because we don't want our Spider-Man to look like he's swinging from Uncle Ben, we're gonna need some buildings. These are some puzzle pieces we've made, so we can basically mix and match them to create different variations of buildings. We just have to wait for them to have puberty so we can have something to swing on. Now we should be able to swing from building to buildings. We can also polish the environment a bit by adding a road and repurposing the buildings that we made to be part of a parallax background. Another thing that Spider-Man needs are his enemies, because what kind of a hero doesn't beat up bad guys, solve crimes, and bully other people? Here's the design of the enemy. We'll just give him a bit of animation so he can idle, run, punch, and get hurt. We can then duplicate this enemy and with some modifications, we now have another variation of Spider-Man's victims. Let's just program some AI or actually idiotic code into these bad guys so they can do very bad things like double parking, not flushing the toilet, sharing your whole life story for them to just reply, or just punching Spider-Man in the nuts. Mm. And of course, Spider-Man also needs to fight back, so we're giving him quite a few options to very gently abuse his enemies. He can now do a three-hit combo, and he can also shoot white sticky balls. Oh! Let's now create some UI and make a health bar to indicate Spider-Man's, well, health of course, what do you expect? A cookie? And a map to see where the enemies are. And finally, we have our own 